Yeah, you guys are just in time. We have some potatoes that we're about to cook until they're nice and soft. And uh, you might be wondering, why are we cooking potatoes? I'll tell you why. I like potato salad. I like German potato salad. Come to find out, uh, there's only 10,001 recipes. Uh, most people uh, really think about the Bavarian style, but it could be warm, it could be cold. We're gonna do a little bit of a Berliner style potato salad. Cold, no mayo. We're also gonna throw in a tablespoon of salt and caraway seeds. Help us cook these. There we go, look at that. Now we're just gonna cook these until they get soft. Soft enough to be cut with a paring knife, which we'll show you here in a moment. The caraway seed is optional. But mandatory. You need that little bit of uh, differentiator so that you just don't have soft mashed potatoes. All right, let's get settled back here. Technically, I'm talking to myself. So while we wait for that, we're gonna get an empty cup here and we're gonna make our vinaigrette. First thing we're gonna start with is a third of a cup of pickle juice. Get that in there. That's right, pickle juice. Dill pickles are probably best. This one is good. You know what the best is if you get German pickles? You remember they used to come in the big barrel at the delis? People would just stuff their hands in there and pick out a pickle. Tasted great, completely unsanitary. I would never do it now knowing what we know, but you know, when we were younger, that's uh, basically every deli had a pickle barrel and you, uh, you went and you grabbed one. So also to go with our pickle juice, we are gonna put in three tablespoons or 50 milliliters of white wine vinegar. There we go. Now the white wine vinegar has a little bit less acidity to it. So it's a little bit sweeter. It doesn't give you that really pugnant uh, vinegar taste. So that's, that's our choice here. No way. <sighs> Smells good. Okay. A third of a cup of canola or vegetable oil. You could use olive oil, although the flavor is a little bit too much. So we're going to use canola oil, one third of a cup, or 100 milliliters. Same for the pickle juice. A third of a cup of pickle juice is about 100 milliliters if you're measuring it out. You know what, honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna get it in the ballpark and then you could adjust the recipe as you like. But see, we got the start of a great pickle vinaigrette. We're gonna do three teaspoons of sugar, one clove of minced garlic, you could buy it already done. I happen to have some fresh garlic, so we just chop it up really fine. This is also technically optional. Um, I like the garlic, it's a little bit of additional flavor. And we have some spicy mustard, two teaspoons of spicy mustard. Spicy mustard's gonna give it that pop. We also need some onions. This is one finely chopped onion. You could use half, it depends how much onion flavor you like, but uh, I think it's a really nice balance and pop of flavor. Teaspoon of black pepper. Put our lid on. Look at that. Potato salad vinaigrette, mixed and ready to rock. Caraway seeds have such a nice aromatic element to it. <sighs> Starting to smell like potato salad. Well, not exactly. Once we get this jar open, it's gonna be amazing. And by the way, uh, you can also slice up pickles as well and add it into our potato salad. We're not going to do that today, but it is certainly um, something that uh, a lot of the German recipes do call for. So now we wait. Anybody know how to say the German word for potato salad? Kartoffelsalat? I think I said that right. How about grandma? Oma? Man, foreign language is tough. 
So we're using about a kilogram of potato. I use these Honey Gold um, organic potatoes. You can use any waxy jacket, uh, you know, potato would be fine. But this description right here, it says buttery sweet flavor with velvety golden flesh and delicate skin. Sounds pretty good. All right, it's about that time. Got my paring knife. Let's go check these out. So what we're looking for is the knife to just uh, go very soft without a lot of pressure. Looks like we're good. You know, some of them are a little bit more cooked than others, the smaller ones, but that's fine. We will now shut our heat off. Because we have caraway seeds, we're not going to want to dump those in the drain, so I'm just going to pull these out one at a time and place them here on a pan. You don't want to leave these in a bowl because they won't, will not cool off quick enough. So at this point, we're just going to let these cool off till about lukewarm, right? So you can touch them and still feel they're a little warm. And we're going to peel them and start stacking them. We are almost ready to go. This is going to be outstanding. One of the things we're going to do while those are cooling off, you know, that would be a good time to make this also as well to kind of, you know, kill the downtime. But uh, we also have a Granny Smith or a tart apple. Get yourself a tart apple, peel this bad boy, um, cut it into really tiny pieces, and we're gonna layer that into the potato salad. Any size apple will do. You don't have to put this in, but uh, we think it's gonna be really good. So make sure you mix this up. I held this off to that because you don't wanna cut this too early. You don't wanna brown. Nobody likes a brown apple. And uh, also, right before we serve it, we'll chop up these chives. But uh, so close, so close. It's beer time. Let's grab a beer and, and wait for these things to cool off. We peel them, we slice them, we layer them. Easy mode. And then, uh, then we'll get started on the curry and, and the bratwurst. And... Wish you were here. Be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you can join Cam on these items next Wednesday. All right, so now we're just going to peel these. Use a tool, just pull the skin right off, lukewarm, don't burn yourselves. Okay, we're all peeled up. Now what we're just going to do is slice these potatoes and start layering them in. Just get a... They don't have to be perfect, just get nice chunks. And uh, you can pretty much shape these any, any way you like. I like it to be a little bit more rustic. All right, so we have our, our potatoes all diced up. Very tricky. You can see here, um, if you're a perfectionist, this is a dangerous job. These guys tend to be a little bit slippery and uh, we're looking for something rustic anyway So we have a couple of different shapes and sizes Makes it a little interesting. We got almost all of the potato peel uh, We peeled almost all the skin off the potatoes If you didn't get it all, it's not a big deal. If you're a real perfectionist You can run these potatoes through a french fry machine so that you have uh, fries and then dice them up which is probably a little bit quicker, but we're gonna layer the potatoes in our in our dish. Now again, we're not uh, looking for accuracy here or, or speed. Just get a good layer on the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is sprinkle some of the apples in. Right, remember those, we diced up an apple. And this is not an exact science. We get a little stir of our vinaigrette here and just layer it. This just makes sure that it all absorbs in evenly. It's almost like making a uh, potato vinaigrette lasagna. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh... All 
Now we would just put pour the rest all on top. May look like it's going to be um, a little bit too much for our potatoes, but don't worry, it's all going to absorb in. Look at that. We got our chives. We're gonna chop those up when we're ready to serve it. Now we're gonna cover this. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least four hours. Overnight is even more ideal. Just let all those flavors meld together. And uh, we're gonna go and get started on something else. Uh, if I started with the apple cake first, I'd be eating the apple cake and nothing else would have gotten done. So we have our side. Let's go ahead and move on and get some other stuff going and we'll be ready to go. All right, so we pulled the potato salad out of the refrigerator. Look at that, it came out perfect. I'm probably gonna uh, drop a few more chives on there just to uh, color it up a little bit, but. Mm. Such a perfect uh, tartness in here. This is um, definitely, this is a perfect tartness, especially when you get a little bit of the apple and the onion in with uh, the potato. And that pepper vinaigrette, it's just all really uh, melded together very, very well. This is actually very addictive, which is what we're after here, for sure. Um, mm. All right, I'll put this down. We gotta get the, the currywurst ready. So we can have, you know, our currywurst sausage, potato salad, and then uh, we'll also get that that apple cake going too as well. But uh, I will tell you that uh, once you start eating this, it's very difficult to stop. And uh, I like this one without the mayo because it's more portable. So if you want to take this to the beach or to the park for a picnic or something, it's a little bit more food safe than, uh, than mayonnaise. And it's a little bit more healthy too, which is nice. So I feel like this uh, vinaigrette and the, the very, uh, the tartness of it is really gonna help cut through the fat of the sausage or the bratwurst. But uh, overall, very, very happy with this right now. I think you should definitely make this recipe and we're gonna get started on the next thing. You know, poke them. Don't play with knives.